Kira, um, we are starting our hui um, off in Taihe <coughs> Marae. I'm here uh, representing uh, the uh, Manukau um, Moriori and as executor of the Moriori uh, Trust and also the King William IV Moai Crown Trust and uh, with me assisting in the uh, adjudication of this hui, uh, Manahi Parapara Mohini, uh, direct bloodline descendant to Refere uh, for uh, Manukau of Afitu, Manukau Marae, and also Tita Waikato Whare Herehere Manukau from Mangatoturi Mountain Park site as the other paramount chief, two paramount chiefs, Tita Waikato with King George IV of this flag. Uh, confederation flag uh, of a contract, private contract of admiralty uh, in 1830 period and also from 1830 King William IV to um, 1837 period of Referee for Manukau and uh, his contract continued under that flag jurisdiction. So the Hui today is to join the uh, uh, Hori uh, Tikuri. And we have invited <coughs> all the descendants of Huri Tikuri here today and uh, joining with Refere from Manukau, the uh, Ngāpui side of this flag, uh, as uh, with the Moriori uh, <coughs> of uh, 
the Waikato region of that tupuna with this one on a British deed title here. And I'll read you, first of all, to start this week, with the enclosure of number 80 deed title <coughs> here in the Kaipara, where the British set up with Clendon here and uh, Rawani, and here this native court in Tahege. This is a British title, and I'm going to read this bit just for this agreement between uh, the captain of the ship Clendon, the magistrate, magistrate, which is this instruction book with the 1834 declaration of war bank flag in a native court. Now the uh, uh, the uh, names on this is just one of the contracts that the British Crown use certain chiefs. So with this one, I'm just going to read it so we link ourselves directly to all the native titles in the world and these instruments to Edinburgh, uh, native, um, Edinburgh Magistrate Court in Scotland. The Scottish were, the Scottish rights put all these legal documents together and I've been able to uh, uh, write all over them uh, what we want as their direct partner in a Ship of Admiralty partner ship contract, private contract between two people. Anyone else on the Queen's side is a third party of a Vice Admiral second hand title to a King's Admiralty, which is what I'm wearing, the coat of arms of King William IV, King of Hanover, and Britain UK uh, title uh, that we are contractors when the King is absent. We speak, I'm speaking as a sheriff on behalf of the King for these chiefs here today and we're waiting for an invitation from all Hori Tikuri's descendants to come and claim his title and should no one come to this Hui, on this Marae, the British first entry into this country, then there was one Tikuri chief, uh, Hori, and his memorial up on the hill on the highest point of the hill is on YouTube as fact cited evidence, better than a written document. But these are the instructions of the acts of King William IV and Referefa Manikau with this flag. These are the instructions for this flag, and so far, no one has spotted the acts of King William IV from 1830 to 1837 on eight, 19 April pages, and that's all we need to do. That was what we need to do. I'm going to read it to link us to the city of Edinburgh, straight from here. <coughs> the enclosure of in number 80, copy of the original D, memorandum of agreement between J. R. Clendon, master of his city of Edinburgh company, in bracket. On the one part, and Kiwi Kiwi and Pomari Itoi on the other part. Witness that the awful said Kiwi Kiwi and Pomari Itoi hereby agree on this one part to sell to the aforesaid J.R. Clendon and to his heirs forever all that parcel of ground that's situated in New Zealand called Kua Pānui from Pipiroa round Kua Pānui to Te Roi Patu Pū upon consideration of receiving for the same the four under-mentioned articles from the said J.R. Clendon in the payment from the same, viz. one six pound cannonade, a two muskets and ten pounds of gunpowder, and three cartonades, cartouche boxes, and the aforesaid J.R. Clendon, master of the city of Edinburgh, Edinburgh, on the other part, hereby agrees to pay to the said Kiwi Kiwi and Pomare Itoi all that under mentioned articles via one six pound. <coughs> Cartonade, two muskets, ten pounds of gunpowder, and three cartouche boxes upon consideration of his receiving for the same all that parcel of ground situated in New Zealand called Kuapanui from Pipiroa round Kuapanui to Teroi Patipu, in witness of the parties intending to fulfil all parts of this agreement 
they have hereto set their hands within the seventh day of December in the year of our Lord, 1830. Sign, Pomare, Itoi, James R. Clinton. Their names <coughs> are in capitals, which means a commercial contract, commercial land owner. Kiwikiwi and Pomare Itoi. <coughs> Sign, witness, W. Stewart and J. A. S. King, Daniel Peterson, on taking possession of the four mentioned land this 13th day of September 1882. All the claims of demands on which being relinquished by Pomare and Kiwikiwi and others concerned on the aforesaid Land James Reedy Clinton has given as the last and final payment 40 muskets, 15 quarter pound caskets of, of powder, and so forth. I'm just explaining the connection to Edinburgh, where the native court was set up from this title in this area. And this is these documents here that Morris has <coughs> accumulated <coughs> on his own research to uh, his land blocks over here under the Taheke Hokianga County District area. These documents here are deeds that I'm explaining as a land commissioner, native land commissioner, of its interpretation into legal instruments to make money out of land that they have conquered. And um, we are just following the ship backwards from that side, the east side, back to Hokianga where the ship came in first. And I'm linking this back from the 1830 period that I saw. These are the big blocks with the numbers on the A3 page and all the certificates in the New South Wales side on the Queen side is the A4 page. So these are original deeds straight to Westminster and Edinburgh, the Hokianga County. You'll notice that counties come under this eight point star on this flag is the counties of the St. Patrick's order of municipalities in these counties to collect the rent for the king on leased lands. There are only leased occupation title lands that can be seized upon if there is fraud involved, if he can prove it. And so today we are proving there is fraud in Morris's land, which I've identified for him to understand how these documents work as instruments and if they defraud them on the British King side then the Queen side is liable as judgment debtor inside this native court today and judgment creditor here. We're using King Tafia's power note in Leferefa Manukau's area under King William the Third, uh, King William the Fourth from 1837 linked back to his ancestor, Te Rewaikato Whare, Here Here Manukau, in Mangatauteri, with King George IV that started these contracts off in the Kaipa, uh, under Clinton, uh, first beginnings before the 1835 Declaration of Independence and 1840 Treaty of Waisa. So these override as a federal state government here, municipalities to collect any outstanding debt against the Queen's judgment debtor, judgment creditor. King, I'm speaking for the King with his coat of arms. I have my own coat of arms for the Rogan that married the Manukau's and Rogan's married the Wanos down in Rangitukia, Tiki Tiki, where the St. Mary's Church is, 1831 period, best of marriages. So those are instruments created from this magistrate court. The only way to get from one country to the other in trade is through the magistrate court ship of Admiralty and Bill of Laden and shipment, shipment with a partner ship with us. And that's what we're claiming. This flag was given by the king for this business and this marae and not anything else that's got the hallmarks of another alien that's purporting to be what this flag was, us, that's got the authority of paramount 
chief, the word paramount is on the British titles and the Maori is on the New South Wales titles. They created the Maori and those tribes with their whakapapa to overshadow the king's titles and these original hori tikuri on this land here that I'm standing here and linking it back to Te Ungungwaka Marae in uh, Auckland. We had the hui last Saturday, the 11th of November, 1862 and 2017 to mark that anniversary of Rewharewha Manukau and his Pukekoe land that I'm going to explain in, in a moment before we carry on. The significance of that deed is the, no different from this deed. Standing on the maunga on the top of the hill and doing a 360 degrees as far as I can see. That was Puki Kohi on Puki, Bombay Hill, seen right around and linked up to his ancestor in the Waikato area of the Manukau Harbour link where the ship of Admiralty came in there with the land already sold uh, as bush. So we're, we're going back to deed titles at Afetu, the Manukau Marae, I'm looking at the Minikinex here, and they uh, took that marae and changed it to Tahuna Marae, because I've got a wrong video with Mohi Manukau way back uh, in 2004. That was foreshore seabed, I was in the middle of that with him, and he's what I want to want to claim in the Kaipara where his grandfather put the Rogan and the Manukau titles together for Rewha Rewha Manukau and Te Rewaka. But <clears throat> the Ratna Church comes in because Ramika is the father of Hori Te Hori, buried in the back of the church, the Ratna Church here where I'm sleeping, and Morris is living on the land blocks, why he cannot be tampered with those titles, and they've been tampered with. And that's why this court hearing today, we have the right when all justice has failed, we go back and default this side of the discrepancies in their titles to a federal state title of a king. The Queen has defaulted his title, and that's what this court hearing is for his land block, and Refa Refa's land block changed the name Refa Refa, Refa into Rewa. He's buried up at Rafiki on top of the hill, the same hill overlooking the whole of the area as the same Refa Refa to the same Te Rewaikato Wharehere in Manukau, 1820-1830, sold the whole of New Zealand and Pacific Islands to King George IV because they were going to take it anyway. They were conquering the land and the flag saved us from ours being taken, put in the contract. The contract saved us. No one else has a contract like that. That's why they keep conquering with this flag over all the other countries and using our authority and we're making them accountable today on this Napui land and Moriori land over there. We have uh, uh, Morris to, uh, as a descendant speaker with the knowledge, <coughs> the intelligence to stand up for Hori Tikuri because no one has yet so far with this land where the British came in and that takes precedence over Titi Marae and Kororareka was the first magistrate court, native magistrate court from here, they went around there because the business was over there and they set it up, Hongi Hika chucked that flag down four times and so they blew it up and took it to Awaroa in Helensville and set up the Awaroa native magistrate court bank under this flag, the bank there on the 10 acre block and so I've been put that history together and stitched this one together with Napui and the uh, Moriori Hongi Hika for uh, Napui, the Tahitian Cook Island, uh, uh, Tupuna, and also uh, Refere for Manukau and Te Rewaikato, Wharehere in Manukau, Moriori, that the British selected as the legal owner of the land. There's only paper about the land, not the land, the paper holding title over the land as instrument of making money. So we're going into that to defuse the defaulted contract on this side the Queen has fashioned out of this King's title. And that's what we're here today. So this is Murray's own research that I've checked the titles as a Native Land Commissioner to investigate because I'm in the Rogan uh, family at East Cape, Tick Rogan, married the Oraitiwana on these blocks at Tikiti. And that 
St. Mary's Church, first birth, death and marriage certificates that King William put on the stock market. This is created there for the whole world. Okay? Between that jurisdiction <coughs> of an instrument, birth certificate instrument, and these land instruments on that Pukekohe started all that land titles, and this one here in the Hokiya. Okay? So the other magistrate court was wiped out in Titi that doesn't have anything to do with commerce. It's here, go back, follow the ship backwards from here, back to Edinburgh. I just read out the connection to Edinburgh Magistrate Court. So we've got here a native Magistrate Court <coughs> and we have a uh, uh, Ratana Minister here, uh, Apotoro, uh, representing that side of the Moriori, Manukau and the Rogan contract with the reference to Manukau to link that to Kuri Kikuri. And that's all we need to do with this book of instructions. These are all uh, Maurice, Maurice's uh, uh, history. So <coughs> I, I now just explain how we go from here. <coughs> Today we are just recording the uh, business end of <coughs> this, these documents. We're taking stock and ownership of all these legal Document, not the land, the legal instruments. The land won't go anywhere. They can carry on, but people occupy it under other jurisdictions and law, international law, to protect everybody <coughs> occupying the land because the British just sprinkled it with people to pay the rent. We are collecting the rent for the lease land. We haven't got anything out of it yet until now. We're making people see sense in what we do and instruments to recover the debt with the sheriff's badge. And so that's my job to implement this plan on others to duplicate so that I can go to England and represent us on the other end. Because in order to change any contract, we have to go back to Edinburgh where it all started and where Tira Waikato Whareheri went and him and Hongi went to Cambridge University to learn English with Kendall, Bishop Kendall, in 1820. So they spent a bit of period of time. Uh, Hongi went there. He didn't sign the contract. He went for the muskets to uh, uh, do that side of the British uh, military to conquer the lands and defend their titles. And he was responsible for that. He was told what to do. And he followed the instructions. Uh, and that's on the military side. He was on the protective side, which was partly in a contract to do what he was taught. And also, Te Rewaikato Whareheri Manukau went to Edinburgh with King George and signed the deeds of title to sell the land, the instrument, the instrument, to King George IV. So that started this flag off and we're connecting ourselves to 1834 cut off. And uh, uh, at the present time with uh, uh, Bundy and uh, Hiriwini were, were with us for a start, but they elected to make their own proclamation. They were allowed to do what they want to. And uh, he's gone with uh, um, the government, Labour, as an up house into the uh, Waitangi Marae on the Waitangi Day celebrations. It's shifted. Uh, and that's what I got uh, from our leftover two of us out of the four. Uh, we've, they've gone and stuck, stuck with the Queen and said the flag uh, was stolen by the, the 1834 flag was stolen and changed it to 1835 into 1840. So that's their jurisdiction. We're staying here straight to Westminster, direct to hold them accountable as third party. So anybody in here tampering with these instruments have been tampered with. The Rogan name is missing on the, on the uh, uh, receipt. And I'll put these documents in here in Te Unga Waka Marae on the 11th of November, 1862, anniversary. We had to be there to mark Lefelefe Manukau's anniversary, <coughs> which is, happens to be the 1862 Native Land Act of New Zealand that formed their authority to use Native Land Court for their titles and their jurisdiction on their side. So, I went to Nuki Ulrich, because he's in the confederation with me, right back, 20 years. And uh, the Apotoro said there, that was Hayward 
uh, Brown uh, and the other Apples are all made statement on that day that they were going to stop the government from going to Ratna. And I say this, they go to Ratna to get some sort of permission to do their business. They go to Titi Marae to get permission to do their business in the Waitangi Marae, die sport in the world on native titles and a ship on a dry land. That's the King William IV ship of Admiralty, uh, stuck fast on land without a bar and without a dock to try you and they do all their business over there. <coughs> so, um, uh, what happened is um, uh, now that Bundy and them have gone with uh, that uh, government, the upper house in Titi Marae belongs to the other half of the lower house in Wellington and uh, the Beehive, the government. So they've gone hand in hand to try and make an agreement between themselves. That's their business. But our business is King's. <coughs> we're in the King's authority. His photo here, King William IV. The Maui crown standing in London is our Tahitian memorial to the Pacific Islands. So they're using, we're using that authority of a memorial to land is a memorial. He's got his ahu and his henu standing in London. So that's us already there. We've got the king here. We've got his eight-point star of St. Patrick's, uh, buried in Northern Ireland in Belfast. And so that's where the Rogan comes from, and the Cosgrove lawyers, the Rogan judges, and my family, and there. So I go there, under the DUP party from Northern Ireland, uh, Arlene uh, Foster, straight to Westminster, with all of this, to claim that flag in its jurisdiction as the rightful um, uh, authority to use it, what its intended purpose is to recover all the debts. And we've got the instrument here of a sheriff to sign today, and these documents that's in this marae, to link this marae to Te Ngawaka Marae in Epsom, Auckland. And this is the sheriff warrant to give to the private investigator, Grey Mallard, in Browns Bay, ex-Scotland Yard detective, to take this instrument, and he just needed a letter from the lawyer, Yu Tai Choi, a lawyer for for, for, for for the Manukau title, he signed it, to, for the recovery of John Key's name on it. And this is a Rick Warren from here, from this marae, to recover the lands here of what uh, Morris has clear title and incumbent of debt. And so we're converting it and taking the title on this side off, the lien title, the defected title or default contract title, and put it back in this title and take the mortgage out and put it back to D, where it came from in the first place, here in the first place. So this is the recovery. I've written on it because my typewriter, I left the cord behind to print everything up. And so I've just written, handwritten it, we stamp it, and that's a legal instrument. But the video is better still because I'm live online as fact-sided evidence. The courts use video to save expense of taking the, um, uh, the prisoner into the courts and all the uh, protests outside and all the police and all the resources to get him to court and take him back to prison. So they do it uh, by video. The video is acceptable in any court of law and we are using that in this court hearing today as me live, not the, the capital letters. When you earn capital letters, you're dead. And so that's how they make money out of bits of paper. Okay, so we use the same bits of paper to recover the debt from this side back into the King's Bench Court from the Queen's Bench Court. We have Manahi, the JP, Justice of the Peace, to act as the court on the native side and also on the Queen's side, Queen's Council, and on the Queen, the King's bench side, both sides. He's to, to defuse the side legally through the courts, and that's his profession in the courts. So he does it. I do the land as a land commissioner to check titles, check his title, check Morris's title is correct and, and, and clean, and of no uh, uh, bad connections except where the other block on the opposite side has got a defective title. Uh, um, with one um, piece cut out, and I won't talk about that, but that's the fraud in there, identified, and it's for anybody to deny it. This is what this hui was for, to bring your titles in. I've told them, bring their deed titles in. Um, professional enough to talk about those, and a competent witness of what I say, I don't need a lawyer. He doesn't need a lawyer. He didn't use a lawyer to get all that. I don't need a lawyer either, because I'm from the family that created all these documents, and William Manukau, the Freemason, 50 years, he left his authority to me 
to speak for Manukau, Moriori, and speak for Kafaru Duchai of Waikara. I'm not a Rakhna, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a statue on East Island, Tipito to Tipito on East Cape with sunrise. That's me over there with that Maui standing in London. That's my own Taishan memorial. Uh, as somebody that can lay claim to that authority to L.O.R.E. God, Spirit, Law, that stand in London. That was taken by Queen Victoria in 1868 for some reason or another because of its mana. And we go then stand aside with this flag. And that's that and King William IV, King George IV, and two chiefs. And that's, it completes that with the instructions set without creating new proclamations. It was already there to use and you had to find it. Look, it was already there. We only had to live chiefs here today, those witnessing here today are privy to this private contract, nobody's business. It's between us and the captain of the ship, Navy, uh, the Royal British Navy, um, <coughs> Philip uh, Jones, First Lord of the Sea, uh, and he is the Navy side of our Admiralty flag of the sea. So we're using the Admiralty from the sea to do the same thing as the British on the land titles on dry land. But we got the flag that's been hijacked in White Tongue and they're trying to use it without instructions in here. Bundy has this book and he's trying to interpret it in how he feels because he's Cook Island and Hongihika descended and speaker for Hongihika. Hongihika went to get baskets but not legal documents. So that's the difference. But we have taken Napui as being effective from this parai and the Napui block of land with a British title and a Moriori Manikau title over there joined the two together as if they were brothers. So they're still the same family. All around here, all these people are coming out of somebody's title and we're saying the ship sailed in here and bought these bits of paper right here and we're just making them reverse osmosis or whatever you call it to ourselves to recover all the debt. So this instrument we're going to sign, we got a uh, book here, a uh, 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 part of the magistrate with Morris's titles in here. We're going to stamp and seal with our uh, Moai seal and the two chiefs and um, Kendall and King William. So we stamp with that one the authority and authenticate it here on this land where the British set up with this native court here, and with the, um, with the start of the uh, uh, Kiwi's title and the Maui statue here. It's Tahitian, Ngāti Pro, Tainui, Ngāpui, they're Tahitian. So we're just doing it for them. And my job was to control the bank and the commerce, and the rest can do uh, all the business here. We're setting up the executive here, linked to uh, Te Ngoaka Marae, the Catholic Church in Marae, and uh, uh, the jurisdiction of Auckland. It didn't matter where they put it, but the, the Te Rawakato, Wharehere, the title was the whole country. So we get Cook Street, we get the lock, one shot. But that's how you do it legally, without firing a shot. Okay, so this is um, Morris's book. I'm just written on, on uh, uh, this book of my one, with the full account, mine and Manahi's, and all we're doing is authenticating this Marae back to what I said here with Clendon and back to Edinburgh, where all the native titles in the world come from under this model, un under this native title here, and those two chiefs, right? And here is a blow up of the receipt of a referee for Manukau name in capitals in Māori, so I'm going to try and attempt to read it in Māori, because my eyes are, I'm going to put a bite off, uh, the deeds of receipt of number 78 and number 90, they split the two into Pākehā language, the same as the Treaty of Waitangi and the Treaty of Waitangi, they've done the same trick here. Uh, so this deeds receipt number 79, Uetawa block, uh, Pukikohi, Manukau district, you see, notice, Manukau district. Is in capitals. Everything in capitals is, a, is commercial, this way. Uh, that's, how you, that's how you use that way. I'm just showing you how to use it. 
if you know what to do. But we must have all the, the elements of a bank, a land title, and a chief, the right chief. Don't be wrong. Um, so we are saying the deed was hit, Uetawa, Block, Pukekohe, Manukau District. Kua Riro, Mai, Ki, Au, Naha, Te Rokena, Rogan, Pukekohe, Manukau District. Um, Kua Riro, Mai, Ki, Au, Na, Te Rokena, E, Rima, <coughs> Pauna, Takitahi, Maku, E, Nei, Moni, E, Whakahokia, Kia, Ia, Ina, Rite, Te Utu, Mo, Te Mawa, Whenua, Ko Ue Tawa, Ko Pukikawi, Te Ingoa, Nui, A Tawa. Akarana, November 11th, 1862, signed Manukau, and unsigned Rekarewa. And translation in English, I have received from Mr. Rogan five pounds. I will repay him this to him when we receive the payment, receive the payment for our land, Uatawa. Pukikawi is the name of that land. Signed Manukau, signed Arefareta. Two different names, two different capital names, is a commercial name owned by the British Crown as not the real person, but a company. Two companies that make a title and money. Okay, they split the name up in half in the Bahia version. Auckland, November 11th, 1862, same day, but different contract. Auckland, a true trans transcript of office copy of receipt. E. Hansen Turkey. Wellington, October 18th, 1875. And so I've written on it that the deed receipts number 80. So two different deeds, two different interpretations of a contract. But Rogan's name is missing. It's been scrubbed out on the Maori version. That's the first de 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 uh, discrepancy of a tampering of this receipt from Britain. They have tampered with it from the Queen's side, and that constitutes a defaulted contract of tampering fraud. Okay? They have changed Manukau and Referefa as two different persons, fictitious persons or corporate dead persons as capitals, to make money out of those two different names, the surname and the main name Manukau. So they changed the Referefa into Rewa, and Rewa is buried up in Rafiri. The same manga going like this. I'll video it with Mohi. Mohi identified the Manukau title the way he saw it, with his grandfather, Rogan. He was a surveyor, Rogan, and a judge in the Awaroa Magistrate Court in Helensville. I've got all that and the Freemasons' titles that they put together, Scots rights, and locked the title up to Mohi and not his family. They don't know anything that is sworn to secrecy in their ritual of these land titles are carefully guarded. And if he told anybody, he gets a silver bullet. But he told me, before he died, everything, in six years I stayed with him in Ellenville, to identify which Manukau he's talking about. So they fashioned this Tira Waikato as a female for Te Uriaho titles in Graham Latima and Sir Hugh Kafaru took Kafaru title off the hill and put Nati Fato there as Crown Corporation Australia, that Crown Museum, as their instruments over these instruments here. And use that as their instruments for making money. So we're making that accountable as third party to a two party contract here for Morris and this land here at Tahiki and this two pointers up on a hill, right at the top of the hill. Same as the Manga and Pukekohe, those two chiefs, those two chiefs and two live chiefs here, Manahi, Parapara Mohini for the Manukau family, and also Morris for Huri Tikuri. It didn't matter with these documents whether you're white, black, or blue, they're just instruments. The Whakapapa is still on the land, but the instruments have got them mortgaged and they can't get out. They will never get out unless you go back to Edinburgh and defuse that contract 
That's what my job is, to go there if we want to change it. That's up to us to talk about how we're going to do that. It's quite easy. With the instructions for the flag is here. But Bundy cannot use those instruments in this jurisdiction with this jurisdiction because you'll have the firing squad from the Freemasons, the assassins of anybody gets in the way. And why do you think I'm still going? Because someone's looking after me, I'm assuming it's them. Um, because I'm holding their Manukau's titles and all their Freemasons instruments that are supposed to give back to the Freemasons. I, I kept them. And I said, no, I'll hold on to them because it might become useful one day as make a deal with the Freemasons with their instruments. Because I'm writing all over it. I'm scribbling all over it because that's my business. How I do it. As Rogan. Okay? Rogan, the white bit me and the uh, Tahitian brown bit. Well, the one all come from Raiate Island, Tapu Tapu Raiate Marae. The one all people, it wasn't the Hapu, it was a people. And they changed the surname border here to East Cape, Tipito on the East Island, to the birth of the world, to Tipito, East Cape, the birth of New Zealand. They come in from there, the Manihiri, and go up the top, Tere and Wairu. Toi Karako, Hikorangi Mountain, uh, Tiki Tiki, under this magistrate court, Rage Tukia, that magistrate court that made all your birth certificates into 100 million value, and someone with a gold card like me only get 26,000 out of it, can't get on the land because the trustees own it. They're, they're the legal owners on this side, but we're the legal owners on this side. So this I'm wearing, and John Key's wearing it over here. You have to make it up your own mind which one you want to go with. Follow John Key, and his bank will follow this bank instrument here, with this flag. The flag belongs to this, not to the American government, because the king didn't give it to, there was no Maori around. They created over here. They created that instrument and the uh, Ngāti Whātua Auraki came out of Ngāti Whātua, out of this Manukau title that Mohi Manukau's family put together. Or he did rather, not the family. It was Rogan, the grandfather, and Mohi Manukau and his other paramount chiefs. Mohi Tamata Manukau IV, Mohi Tamata Manukau III, second and first on this female bloodline that took away the king's male line dominant title and switched it with the Rothschild banks uh, which married into Queen Victoria and the rest of the system. But I'm saying today we're going to sign these documents. I want a response from you today, a question and answer. Um, if I can hypnotise you and put you to sleep, I've already had plenty of practice and uh, we won't say names, but I'm saying we're just having a practice run of who we are and identify for the first time to Edinburgh, I said Edinburgh, who we are over here in this jurisdiction to make this side square bill. And we are settling them <coughs> for 100%, not 1%. They are still going after 1% with debt they can't get out. Bundy's going to try and fix it up. It's impossible to get 75% of Maoris to agree with that. He's got a hard sell, his concept, and this is already solved. When they go to Westminster to try and get the money out of the Queen because it goes to the King's Bench Court and the monarchy, then he, he'll find us standing over there on the other hand and he'll have a problem because the British will say, oh, sorry, we, we, we made a deal. We, we've squared up the books and we're, we're going to settle this way. Use this power note and instrument to recover the debt and write all over that too. So we're writing over the power note. Those power notes here with... King Ernest Augustus, the fifth on it, right? and the Prince uh, Caroline of Monaco, he's our uh, oath of office. He's already a king of Britain, UK. That's why they can't make a king of Britain, UK, because there's already one there. We're making him, I'm going there to put him into Parliament and go through Northern Ireland, where the Rogans set up all these instruments, and the Scottish put all the, the Freemason stuff together uh, in Scotland and now. Business is already registered in London, ready to go from this marae and Tungawaka marae, which is picked two, two marae on any bit of land, it's the same piece of land. So it didn't matter whether it was down Tahiti, uh, down Taranaki or anywhere, we just picked two places where the British were hanging around with these. Okay? So we claim the use of this and the X to enforce today any law on any piece of land, so long as we chip off just enough and use them as debtors. If we get rid of them, which is what Gandhi wants to do, then they get away with it. Now we're holding them account and let them govern themselves while we try and prove that we can do just as good as Robbie said.
but we've got a dual federal state government here, straight into Westminster, we're operating now. It's operating, and they're trying to make this flag work in a different jurisdiction, and that failed with uh, the Naidu uh, when, when, when they, they brought him to try and use the Hawaiian jurisdiction. That's what uh, John Munger did in the prison when we got arrested. And they took my shirt, arrested the King's shirt, put it as evidence against me. I left it there as evidence against him in this court hearing today as the police libel. John Key ran away uh, because he got caught in the Panama Papers and got caught with 30 million um, uh, sent to Hillary Clinton for terrorism. And now she's getting arrested. They all get arrested one by one. But we'll be the first to get to John Key because he can only be arrested once. Putting one of these trillion pound notes on his head, but the balance, the Queen has to wear that because they, he's liable each other. The Australian government uh, took him on, he sold up, cashed up here, got out before he, his Prime Minister finished. He's operating the banks with Peter Poloni in the Waitangi Marae, that highest court in the world, with that ship of Admiralty on dry land. And they're using that court. That's what I'm saying. They go down the Rapna to get permission to use this 1862 Native Land Act because of the Manukau Leviticus title. Okay, so that gets permission from there. Now, rather than go to T to, 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 get, to, to, to get the permission to go on the other side, they're, they're going with them, each other, and they're going to try and sort each other out, and that's going to take forever. But we're going straight to the horse's mouth and fix it up this way. So that's a bit of explanation of what we're doing today. I've written on this uh, Rick Warren um, to, for the sheriff um, and to give to the um, um, private investigator and he's uh, responsible to recover the debt and Choi will, uh, I've got to get a letter from Choi after this as fact cited evidence in this receipt that's been tampered with and give it to the lawyer. The lawyer will give a letter to the private investigator to seize Cook Street which will start the recovery of the man himself who defrauded uh, that land title, uh, that the prison owners of it now, they lied it by the owners before they sold it to them, and it got sold for 38 million. And the Chinese were uh, willing to pay 80 million for it. I've come in with a writ warrant and stopped them from selling it <coughs> until we set and put this money down in their title. It's too late now because it's defaulted in here because that, there's, a, there's a reject there from the uh, Maryland court for the uh, lenders. Uh, that they, we had no interest, Monica has no interest, and yes, it does say he does have interest. They failed to put his name on the title because they wanted to defuse all the title. But, so that's, that's the legal side of bits of paper, not the land, bits of paper, and take them off the land and go back and make them pay the bill, then get rid of them. And so that's how we do it, and go back to square one, and you do what we want on the land under our own jurisdiction, one block at a time for now. Don't chew off more than you can bite and, and do things with and prove yourself you can do something with the land. So my job is to run the bank in Britain, the my powerhouse bank, and that's online at the moment, and 250 countries with this flag. We've taken this flag straight around the world because we have the instructions to use to take it around the world from these two marais, this one one in Auckland. Even though it's a Catholic church, it's the instruments that matter and the chief of the land, Puki, Kohi, and this land here, Tahike County. If it counties, this is county stuff to collect the land, <coughs> the land, land the, um, uh, lease, lease lands and terminate the lease if we want to. But I suggest leave them alone as tenants in the common law court, which is this King's Court, is common law court. Okay? So we're going back to square common law court jurisdiction and put the titles back and defuse this lot. One shot. The idea was get like one block of land equals a whole lot of fraud. Now John Key is the um, director of the ANZ Bank, our president of the ANZ Bank. That's just recently came from Australia and he's eight point, got the eight point star on him as an authority to collect money from the bank. Okay, so they made him a director of the bank to collect the money from their, their, uh, their instruments if you don't pay. And it's on, on, uh, on, the, on the mobile phones, they can bill you if, if, if you if you don't pay the bill they'll put it up against your property and that number on your gate uh, Morris is a is a cream can number like the cream can the cream truck can find your place but this number is blue and white is for the ambulance so that you can drop over and they'll take your title and use your name in capitals 
to make, keep making money while you're dead. And that's how they do it. They, they make money out of dead people. That's why the live thing is better than a dead person that lives the movie like that. And it's, it means the capital letter, I'm not dead. And, but I'm claiming back that dead title. And that's what I cited in the court which won the case, was that they, they, they couldn't answer it. They failed, they barred me from going to the court to, to, to get justice. So that failed, so we're going through this justice which works. And when all else fails, we go back to our own court system, which is the tikanga, custom law, custom law, native law, and reverse the process back into custody. And with the British still there in a contract, leave the contract in Britain, and go there and represent the native here, and operate the business from <coughs> here on the British partnership side. And this, I'm saying the natives should have more of the cut of the deal. So long as the Freemasons get their cut out of 100% of Cook Street, one land block, but that's just the land block, then you've got the bank, the land underneath the bank, and the bank, and it's liable by John.